Well, good morning and welcome to Thursday, the 28th of May, 2020. Um, we're in a guest room this morning and I want to bring your attention to these three prints of Ken Duncan that Jackie was able to pick up at an op shop. Um, they were significant to her at the time after she had done a workshop with Ken Duncan about photography because Jack's a bit keen on uh, getting the, the camera out and, and taking some shots. A couple of things that really struck me uh, about uh, Jackie's feedback to, to that session. Firstly, Ken Duncan was really an advocate of these, these smaller point and shoot type cameras that, um, that just make photography easy and fun. And uh, kind of makes me think a little bit about our recordings daily are on, uh, are on a smartphone, on my iPhone. Uh, the camera on that is quite brilliant. So I thought that was a fascinating thought. But the other thought that came to me uh, around these, these prints um, and Jackie's feedback was, Ken, one of the things Ken Duncan said was that he would go and sit in a place for hours waiting for for sunlight or cloud cover or a particular angle or a particular time of day for a particular effect and i mean that every photographer will tell you in the morning and the evening is the is the golden hour there's that time where light comes without being in your face and and photography just comes into its own in those spaces and and so looking at these photos and the shadows and the, the cloud and the sun and, and just how Ken Duncan frames his photography up um, speaks to me of a man of great patience. Now, patience can be a, a challenging virtue. I, I, I know uh, I sort of, when it comes to the patience prayer, I, I don't like praying it. Oh, Lord, give me patience. No, no, no. Because... Uh, because God says, well, I, ah, the patience prayer. I love that prayer. Just go over and sit in the corner and I'll get to that in just a moment. And uh, so uh, I'm, I'm not a particular fan of the patience prayer. However, this is what the scriptures say around this idea of patience. This is from 2 Peter chapter 1, uh, verses 3 to 8. Everything that goes into a life of pleasing God has been miraculously given to us by getting to know personally and intimately the one, that is Jesus, who invited us to God. The best invitation we ever received. We were also given absolutely terrific promises to pass on to you. Your tickets to participation in the life of God after you turned your back on a world corrupted by lust. So don't lose a minute, and this is where I want to focus us. Don't lose a minute in building up what you've been given, complementing your basic faith with good character, spiritual understanding, alert discipline, and here it is, passionate patience. Reverent wonder, warm friendliness and generous love, each dimension fitting into the other, developing the others. With these qualities active and growing in your lives, no grass will grow under your feet, no day will pass without its reward as you mature in your experience of our Master Jesus. Without these qualities you can't see what's right before you, oblivious that your old sinful life has been wiped off the books. But it's this idea of, of, of passionate patience. In, as we're waiting for the, the restrictions, the social distance, the physical distance, isolation in restrictions to lift, we can be tempted to lose patience and to take risks. And whereas as God's people, if we can dip deeply into this place of, of passionate patience, waiting intentionally and modelling to those around us contentedness and satisfaction because of the one who invited us to God and that wonderful invitation that we've received, that we can, we can support well ourselves, our families and those around and about us. Let's pray this morning. 
And it's not so much to pray in the patience prayer, Lord, but it is to say that we might be passionate in our patience as we are waiting in this day for the restrictions and for the social isolation, the physical distancing restrictions to be relieved so that life can take on something of a new normal. But Father, in these days, in these times, that we might, we might know the work of your spirit within us, growing and developing our character, growing our understanding, our alertness of discipline, that the patient, the passionate patience, the reverent wonder, the warm friendliness and generous love, that each of these would build and develop the other in this season, that we emerge from this cocoon of COVID-19, stronger and more passionate followers of Jesus as we live intentionally each day, recognising our old life has been dealt with and passed away, that our new life continues to emerge and grow to be a blessing to you and those around us. For we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen.